A new forever stamp honoring Japanese-American soldiers who fought in World War II will be released this week. The stamp will honor the famed 442nd Regimental Combat Team, including a soldier from the Big Island. Joining us this morning is Lynn Heirokuji, co-chair of the Hawaii Stamp Organizing Committee. Good morning, Lynn. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Now, first off, your dad was a Nisei veteran. Tell us why this stamp is so important, especially with the rise in anti-Asian hate crimes across the country right now. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh, thanks so much for uh, having me on. And uh, before I, I go into there, I just wanted to thank the Postal Service for uh, choosing an Asian American soldier to uh, be on uh, to be on one of their stamps. And uh, wanted to thank the other Nisei veteran organizations for their support in putting this event on. So why this stamp is important? If you recall during World War II, there was a great deal of hostility and discrimination against Japanese Americans. Yet during that time, many of the Nisei, the young Japanese American men, including my dad, uh, stepped forward to serve in the army during World War II. And um, they suffered many, many casualties, thousands uh, fought in Europe and the Pacific, and military intelligence service soldiers helped to rebuild Japan after the war. You may know that the 442nd 100th um, remains the most decorated unit of its size and length of service in all of American history. So what, they, what these soldiers did during the war really helped to change how the country saw uh, Japanese Americans at that time. Now, Lynn, what did it take to get an Asian American on the U.S. Poaches stamp? Well, it's been a long 15-year journey to bring the stamp to fruition. The journey was started by three Nisei women in California, and they worked very hard for all of this time to garner support in the community, among politicians, even from France, uh, to get the stamp approved. But the Postal Service finally approved it in November of last year. But it's been a long journey for them. Now, Lynn, there's a special Hawaii connection to the stamp. Can you tell us more about this? I, I sure can. So the image uh, is based on a photograph of a Hawaii Nisei soldier from the Big Island. And his name is Shiroku Waiti Yamamoto. And Shiroku served in the 442nd. He passed a few years ago, uh, so was never able to see uh, his image on the stamp. Uh, but there's a very, very strong connection between the stamp and Hawaii. Uh, your viewers may know that uh, Virtually all of the original 100th Infantry Battalion soldiers were from Hawaii. Many of the soldiers of the 442nd were from Hawaii. Uh, the 1399 Engineer Construction Battalion made up, of, made up of entirely Nisei soldiers in Hawaii as well. So very strong connections. And what can you tell us about the special unveiling on the stamp this Friday? So this will be Hawaii's unveiling of the Go For Both Soldier stamp. We're going to be live streaming, streaming the event from the 100th Infantry Battalion Clubhouse at 11 a.m. We would have liked to have done a public ceremony, but COVID concerns have really restricted our ability to do so. We'll have a number of speakers uh, during the event, which will be about 30 to 45 minutes, including Governor Ige. All right, there you have it. The information there, the Gopher Broke stamp, celebrating and honoring Japanese-American soldiers who fought in World War II.